Hey everybody, we're back. Whenever people, whenever you say Earthbound and they're like, Eric, it's Mother, I'm like, we're in America, fuck you, it's Earthbound. <laughs> I'll be honest, like, like, I I think it was like, that. actually the first party I had, like when you, uh, my, I had some of my friends sleep over, it was the first time I actually unlocked all the fucking characters in Smash 64. Really? Yeah, because, uh, like, I was fine with, like, the other, with the original 8, so I didn't really feel like, you know, I didn't know how to unlock the other ones. You just beat the game a bunch of times. Well, yeah, to unlock Luigi by doing, like, target practice or whatever. Oh. Uh, Ness, I forgot what kind of stupid thing was. Oh, hey, Star Fox. Oh, my favorite. And it gets shot down. Oh, no. Nintendo. <laughs> They're shooting down Star Fox. Nah, Miyamoto's making one. So, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna take like 17 years to make. <laughs> oh, but anyway. People are like, but it's gonna be good. I'm like, yeah, but there comes a point where I'm not gonna care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, oh, what's it called? Captain Falcon, you had to like be the fastest to beat the game. But like I think I I think the fir- I think the first secret character I saw though was Jigglypuff. Uh, and I'm all like, okay, you I, gotta just beat the game once, right? Yeah, it's like there's no special requirement. You get Jigglypuff if you beat the game. I'm all like, what the fuck is Jigglypuff doing here? Well, like, and why is it, does it look like a clone of Kirby? She wasn't though, was she? Um, first game. Well, no, game. no, not really. It's just like with the whole puffing up thing. I re- I thought you know Kirby clone immediately. But like, yeah. But, uh, what's it called? It was then, like, I found out about the glorious Captain Falcon. And such, and, like, you know. Ness, I had no clue who he was. Luigi, obviously. Captain Falcon didn't know who he was, but I was intrigued by him. And his Falcon Punch. I, I can't remember how long it took for us to unlock all the characters. Because this yeah. is the time before the internet was rampant. Yeah. So you kind of had to fuck around. I yeah. remember hearing the rumor that Mewtwo was in it, but... Yeah. I know Peach and Bowser were supposed to be in yeah, the original. Yeah, so was Mewtwo. Oh, so Mewtwo and... was supposed to be in the original as well. That would make sense. And Mew. And... Well, Mew was a Pokeball. That did absolutely goddamn nothing. Mew, or Eevee is the new Goldeen. Eevee is the new Goldeen. Lovely. Why didn't they just make a magic harp? I think that's too easy. <laughs> <laughs> True. Well, I mean, in the beginning, anyway. Why was it gold Dean? Anyway. So, yeah. With, with Brawl, it's like... You kind of got out of it because of the weeps. When I was older, I'm just like, oh, fuck Nintendo. I just go and I'll try fuck Nintendo. I don't know. I never... I don't hate Nintendo. They just piss me off. So, I'm like, why do you do like, this I'll, to I'll, Like, I'll be honest. Do you have logical reasons for, you know not liking it. It's not like every little piece of bad news you hear from Nintendo, you're all like, fuck it. I'm like, no, I'm just, most of the time, like, why am I not surprised? Yeah. Like, I mean, you like Nintendo. You have a 3DS. You know, yeah. that doesn't mean you don't absolutely hate it, and, you know, you just criticize it. Yeah, quite a bit. But, because it's easy to, though. Yeah. You, well, you're a Red Lantern, too, anyway, so <laughs> you gotta hate something. Well, the thing is, is with people, they're like, oh, like, the guy we like, heard this morning was like, I'm not gonna get Smash until they get rid of that fucking DLC bullshit. I'm like, what's wrong with DLC? I mean, if it, exten- if it extends the game's lifespan, what's wrong with it? Indeed, like, what they're doing with Mario Kart 8. Yeah, like, with Mario Kart 8, they might be experimenting. Like, maybe will we'll people like this? Maybe we'll yeah. get a Smash Kart like a Like, a lot of people liked it, especially because of what's it called. I know if you, like, got both of the packs that they were doing, you got, like, different Yoshi and Shy Guy colors. Yeah. Which admittedly should have been in the game to begin with, but still. Still, yeah. But, I don't know. I hope there's DLC in Smash 4. That'd be nice. So, yeah. This brings us to Smash 4. 4. I'll admit, like, when I heard Smash 4 was coming out, I'm all like, huh, you know, that's well, pretty neat. Well, you knew it was gonna happen. Like, I knew it was gonna happen. I'm all like, okay, show me, like... Show me something. Show me something. Show me something, Sakurai. Show me something that'll make me flip my oh, shit. Oh, that's the thing, too. During the time of Smash Brothers 4, I think we got really aware of the gaming industry. Yeah. 
This is weird. That's actually a really weird thing. Yeah, 2013 is when I got really aware of the gaming industry. Not with me. Like, so for me, it was like 20, like, when I got a PS3. No, I got like an Xbox. I'm like, oh, okay. Because E3 2013 was the first uh, E3 I actually paid complete attention to. The first E3 I paid attention to was probably like 2008. I've been watching it since like 2007 or 2008. Interesting. So. Well, I mean, I like, I paid attention to E3 too, but like the one like I paid the most attention to was 2013. And like, you know, after Sony's night of thrashing Xbox <laughs> the three uh, uh, Xbox was, One and you know glorious. also the fact that what's it called? Kingdom Hearts three, I'm all like, Okay, Nintendo, show me what you got. And then like, you know, Smash Bros. I'm all like, Oh my goodness, this looks awesome. Yeah, they open with like the villager. Yeah, I'm, all like, I'm all like yeah, they open like with the villager, I'm all like, ah, villager. I was wondering when that would happen. Then they show Mega Man. I'm all like, yeah, at the very end. I kind of flipped my shit because I'm all like, I didn't think this was going to happen, especially with Capcom. I'm indifferent. To I'm Mega Man? Like, I don't care. Like, well, I mean, I was just surprised I, I to see him it, included. It, it, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. If you're into Mega Man, I'm not into Mega Man. I never got the hype behind Mega Man. Like, I, I, I was, I was weirded out that he wasn't in Marvel Three. Yeah. It's, it's Marvel versus Capcom. Capcom. And, you know, he, he kind of helped build Capcom. Yeah. So, I'm like, that's, I was like, wasn't upset, but I was like, really just like, that's odd. You have Zero in here. Okay, whatever. Or, but no form of Mega Man. Yeah, except for Frank West. And Zero alternate costumes. Yeah. But, um. But, yeah. See, so yeah, I heard Mega Man, I'm like, oh. That's cool. The weird one was freaking the Wii Fit Trainer. Yeah, didn't she come out like later in the day? Yeah. And like, I I, I saw like a post by Alicia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's all like, holy shit, the Wii Fit Trainer is in Smash Bros. I'm like, oh no, that's gotta be fake. And then I see the video and I'm like, holy shit, it isn't fake. Does that open like them doing yoga or some shit? Yeah. Kirby, uh, Link, and Mario are doing yoga. It's like, the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, we oh yeah, so we got three character like three new coverage that day. It was yeah. We fit Villager and Mega Man. Yeah. After that time, I remember not hearing much about the game. Yeah, they were kind of just releasing characters as you know. On the website, right? Yeah, as like they went along, and you know, the the you know the old characters really didn't get too much fanfare. Like you know, Luigi got released. Like you know. Towards the end of you know okay. his year oh. because of the year of Luigi. Um, like I was happy to see Fox in there. I'm like, they're not gonna take Fox out. Yes. Take Fox, out. Fox is like one of the original twelve, so you know. Yeah. But uh, what's it called? Which kind of sucks because I don't want to take Leepuff. But she's part of the original twelve, so stay I guess she has to <laughs> you know stay. Um. So yeah. What was the next newcomer trailer to come out? Um, I believe it was either Rosalina. No, yeah, it was Rosalina. Okay. Which kind of, I'm like, oh, cool, that's neat, because, you know, I played Super Mario Galaxy, and, you know. Uh, you actually know who she is. I know, know who she is, and I know she has far greater character than Daisy or Waluigi. That's what everyone was clamoring for, right? Yeah. Like. Everyone was clamoring for Daisy and Waluigi. I'm like, no. I'm all like, I don't care about Daisy. Daisy. Waluigi should just stay in the assist trophy. And it's like, people Is were talking. Is Daisy an assist trophy? Uh, no. Nah. I think she's. She's just a normal trophy? Yeah, just a regular trophy that she'll unlock and just stare at. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I think it was Rosalina. Yeah, after that, I believe it was Little Mac. I thought they were pretty much not the same trailer, but like really close to each other. L so really close to each other. Little Mac, I think, was in February, and Rosalina was towards Who the was end of the year. Who along with Rosalina? Because remember, they usually have like. A, a uh, and no, actually, no. That the only no new veterans were announced. No, there was only one exception to that, actually. Oh, well, two exceptions, the Smash Brothers Direct and the uh, Fire Emblem characters. Because... Huh? What do you mean? 
like those were like the only one, two ones that include like you know new like you know revealing old veterans and stuff. That's well. Wait, do we know Olimar was in it before the? Yeah, we, trip? yeah, we knew Olimar was in it like way before. I think it was around Pikmin three that he was revealed. Yeah. Sonic was revealed around Sonic Lost World and so forth. Toon Link was a weird one that got put back in. I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent to him. Don't really care about him. Is he different from Link? A bit. Kind of hope they have a different final smash for him, though. Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. True. Um. Shit. Then after then after that, I believe it was the uh. The Smash Direct. The Smash Direct. Yeah, okay. that's what really hyped everyone up. Yeah. Well, I think Walmart hyped a lot of people up too. Oh well, yeah. Well, that's true because you know punch out and stuff and people were clamoring for Lil Mac because you know he's he's a boxer you know he'd be a perfect fit for Smash Brothers so it makes sense yeah and then you know uh, as opposed to Wii Fit <laughs> yeah and then uh, oh and even then Wii, Wii Fit That's Trainer Wii Fit Trainer isn't the joke character uh, yeah, we'll get to that later but uh, what's it called so Little Mac got released and then the smash brothers direct and we got like three veterans yeah three veterans and one newcomer it was zero suit Samus, uh Sheik, Sheik. and charizard, charizard yeah. being separated from uh pokemon streaming because i believe they didn't want to do switchable characters or like multiple characters in the same you know in the same character slot yeah what the fuck bowser also wants amiibos Bowser's packing. Also, I love how Donkey Kong's first course of action is punch the shit out of Diddy Kong to get him out of there. Of course he is. He's, he's an abusive father. <laughs> what? He's an abusive father. Oh, oh god. Anyway. Uh, Ooh, did you unlock Solid Snake? Uh, no. What's this Solid it's Snake? A, it's, a, it's a sticker. Oh, well, the sissy the shirt you were talking about earlier. Oh. Anyway, uh, so uh, during the trailer, people thought Mewtwo was going to show up because it was heavily Pokemon based. But no, my favorite Pokemon ever showed up. Is that your favorite, Gr Pokemon Me, Gr favorite Pokemon ever? Yes, Greninja. The minute I found out Froki evolved into a Frog Ninja water type, I'm all like, that, that's my Pokemon right there. <laughs> that, that's that's going to be my starter once I pick up X and Y. Oh my god. And like, you know. Like, he was my starter, he stayed with me to the very end, and, yeah. You, you, like, you know, you had no idea how, like, me me and Karu, me and Zombie were both super, super giddy, like, with that Pokemon trailer. Yeah, I was at work, and I was, I, I had a really shitty connection, so I think I was, like, a minute behind you. Yeah. Like, I'm and like, dude, uh, you have to see the I'm end like, trailer. I'm like, halfway, like, I think it was, like, towards the end, like, right before he, you know, he does the hand gestures. So. Yeah. And then the trailer's gonna start, and then my fucking feed crashes. I'm like, ah. Oh. And then you just hear me being all like, back. and like you're like, dude, 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 dude. I'm like, don't tell me anything. My feed went off, and you're like, okay, I just gotta watch it. I'm like, and then I was getting in, and the only thing I saw in the chat was like, what the fuck? Because I had like, <laughs> I was like, it was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Why not Mewtwo? And people were like, seriously? And someone was like, oh, this is great. And someone was like, why the fuck not Mewtwo? I'm like, okay, it's not Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah. So, I see the trailer, I'm like, oh, Charizard. Long character. Cool. And then you see the guy in shadows. Yeah. And I didn't, I, like, watching the trailer now, I'm like, it's obviously a shuriken. Yeah. I didn't notice, I didn't realize that at first. Yeah. Uh, at first I thought Mewtwo, then I'm all like, wait, it's blue and watery. And watery yeah. And I'm like, don't tell me. <laughs> And, and then when you see a shirk, I'm like, you're like, I'm all like, yes. And then when Greninja pops up, I'm all like, you made the perfect choice. <laughs> Out of all the Gen like six Pokemon to like include as a fighter, <laughs> you made the right choice. So I wonder, I wonder who else is really close to getting out from Gen six. Halucha, I don't know. Uh, Do you not like Halucha? No. Why not? He's a Mexican wrestling bird. I don't even bother fighting him in the game. <laughs> Why do you hate him? Piece of shit. Anyway, so after, after yeah, that... Yeah, after the Smash Direct, everyone got really jazzed. For, yeah. Uh, 
E3. Yeah. We didn't really get that much information till E3, actually. Mainly because, like, you know, they had to... M the Smash Direct was, like, a huge just information dump. Yeah. For and the characters. And then Miiverse, where they were posting all the pictures, they had to... They pretty much focused the, uh, all the uh, subsequent posts on uh, expanding, like, you know, what they were saying in the Smash Direct. Well, that was when it's like Smash Run and all that. Yeah. And then E3. E3. Nintendo's press conference opened was probably the best uh, thing ever. It's like... I gotta admit... Oh, I fucking hate the squeaky hammer. Your squeaky hammer. No, this I is... Know, I know, I know, I know what the squeaky hammer is. I, I, I hate, I hate the squeaky hammer. That's what you get with all the fucking hammer. I thought it was gonna end it quickly, but it didn't. Anyway. No, uh, what's it called? Yeah, Nintendo. I love Nintendo's, uh, or like their press, their video press conference or whatever. Like it was, it was like they got Robot Chicken to help them. And that was that was pretty funny. And then like you know they talked about the Me Fighters. Oh my God! Now everyone can be in Smash Brothers, even Ice T. And Lincoln. And Lincoln. And Elijah Wood. That was weird. I should have Tommy Wiseau. <laughs> you can make Tommy Wiseau now. I can't wait. Then, at the end of the trailer, Palutena got announced. In a cool anime cutscene that makes me wish they did the Smash Brothers anime. Don't feed the weebs. But I want to have a Smash Brothers anime. It'll make up for the lack of a story mode in Super Smash Brothers 4. We'll get to that. But... And then the Smash Brothers Inf Invitational Tournament happened. Yeah, and then after that was and the... And we realized how broken the series of can be. Oh yeah, yeah. And then after that was a little Smash Brothers conference, and Pac-Man got confirmed. This was yeah. this was freaking people out, mainly because, you know, it's you got like four big gaming icons now in it. You got yeah. Sonic, Mario, Pac-Man, and Mega Man. And think what you will about any and all of them. It's like... Having like all that's four, a big deal. That's a big deal for a lot of people. Yeah. You know. You could have just flown up there, you fucking asshole. Talk yeah. About Pitt. He, yeah, he stepped on Mario's head. That's kind. Of, that was kind of a jerk move. What a jerk! Where the fuck's Fox? We're getting the Fox. Fox. We're getting the Fox. Like in the next like two minutes. Oh, okay. Anyway. Uh, after that, uh, who were the other new, actually, I think, the, actually the only other newcomers that came out after the Smash Brothers, uh, stuff in E3 were, uh, Lucina and Robin from Fire Emblem, which also debuted Captain Falcon. And it was also in a kind of anime-ish style. Fire Emblem style, which is anime-ish. Anime okay, let me go on a tangent here. I've played... Em emerald on an emulator where Quaza doesn't live in a fucking lake it lives on the top of a damn tower Ridley doesn't live in a freaking lake he's too big to live in a lake if, if, you're, if you're going to put someone put Kyogre or something or Gyarados yes Gyarados could have easily worked now we have your favorite character Zero Suit Fox. I don't know. <laughs> How dare you bring that up right now? For, for all of you wondering, do not search that. Yeah. You're gonna search it anyway, but I'm gonna warn you now: don't search it. But yeah. Okay, good. He plays Fox, not that fucking monkey. Yeah, I usually whenever I have a chance to play as Fox, and it's I also have Diddy Kong. I usually play as Fox, either with him or Falco. Do you just spam the kick all the time? Maybe. That's what you're supposed to do, well, fuck it, dude. Just... I am slowly learning the mechanics of Smash, so I'm actually really excited for Smash 4. Ah. So. But, uh, what's it called? Because uh. Fox is a good character, he just doesn't have any, like, KO. Oh, yeah. Like, ability. Oh, yeah. But Captain Falcon, we finally got the gauge how strong Captain Falcon was. He was so powerful, he knocked Krom out of the roster. <laughs> 
Because seriously, people were expecting Chrom, and the leaker, the game Tatsu leaker, like, said Chrom was going to be the Fire Emblem rep this time. And, uh... Did he predict Robin and Lana? No, he didn't. The, apparently, the, the way the story goes is that Chrom is in it. But... The leak happened. Chrom's out, Robin's in. Uh, but the thing is... They all got decided. All the characters got decided right when development started. Yeah, but so did like Mewtwo was in the original Smash Bros. They cut him though. At the, like not the last minute, but they cut him. True. Towards the end of development. Hmm. So. We'll have to discuss this in the next part then. Yeah. As Fox gets dragged by Diddy Kong. Oh, poor Fox. Yes. We'll see you guys next time.